everyone, so I decided to start a reading vlog today just for this weekend. This is the last weekend I am in my hometown, if you guys don't recognize this place, it's been where I've been for the last couple of videos. Um, we're currently moving out, which is why there's like nothing in my room, but I'm, this is the last weekend that I am here and it's like I have to write some essays this weekend, but other than that I just... I want to read. I'm in a reading mood finally after like three weeks of not really reading at all, um, except for class and stuff, but I don't really have anything to read. So I am going to go to the library because I actually put like six books on hold at my library out where I go to school, but I really want one of the books now. So I'm going to go to my library and see if they have any of them and then just take them off hold at my library. And we're just gonna go get a book or two and read them. I need to write some essays this weekend, but I only like to write essays for like two or three hours at a time because I get burned out and then I just stop caring and then it's a crap essay. So let me show you guys my OOTD. I don't have like a long mirror to show you, so I'm just gonna like go down. Yeah, so you guys have seen this shirt like a hundred times, but I got my first high-waisted jeans recently and they have changed my life. And then we have these boots which are new. They are to replace my old booties and they're like three inches tall. <laughs> so I kind of need to break them in. And yeah, so that's why we're just gonna go to the library now and let's like, can the white balance chill for like three seconds? Um, so yeah, we're going to the library, pick up a book or two, all that. I figured I wanted to vlog because I think I mentioned before, I feel weird not vlogging for a couple weeks at a time because I feel like you, like you guys have no clue what's going on in my life. Like, I'm in winter classes right now, which is why I'm still at my hometown because it was way easier to just stay here and do them and like have my parents cook me food and stuff while I did them because they're a lot of work. And um, I also got a new car, <laughs> so you guys will see that in a little bit. So yeah, let's just go to the library and get some books. <laughs> So yeah, this is my new car. It's like a 2014 Ford Fusion, which I had 2003 Ford Focus before. And I finally died. So this is my new car, woo! <laughs> Okay, so it was kind of busy in there, so I didn't film a ton, but I ended up getting three books, which I have like five to pick up later this week when I go home, but it's fine. Everything's fine. So I got The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, and this was a book I kind of knew that would be there that I wanted to grab that I can take off my hold at my other library. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just... This has been go going around for a while. I was just never really that interested. And then I was like, you know what? That seems pretty good. Let's try it out. So that's one. And then I picked up this book called Annex by Rich Larson, which is a book that I've honestly had on a thrift books wish list for like a year or two. I'm pretty sure it is like a Peter Pan loosely based retelling in space. Cause yeah, it talks about like her and her pack of lost boys. So, I like sci-fi and I love Peter Pan, so this one's a little bit longer, but actually no it's not. These are all like 300 pages. And then I also got Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Ro Roanhorse, which I hear is like amazing, and it's like not even 300 pages long, and it's like a dystopian, what's that word called? Post-apocalyptic, like, what's urban fantasy that's what this is it's urban fantasy so i picked up some short books to try out that's the beauty of the library maybe i'll do a first chapter tag maybe that's what i'll do when i get home after i write some essays i need to write my essays but maybe i'll then do a first chapter tag i think that'll be fun okay so it is a little while later i've been doing a little bit of homework um since i got back and now i'm going to do like the first chapter Thing. I don't know, people used to call it a challenge, I don't really think it's a challenge, but um, yeah, I'm gonna just try the first chapter or so of each of these books. So, I think I'm gonna start with this one, but I'm realizing the first chapter is like five pages, so let's do like an average of like ten pages each. Okay, here, up to chapter three is fourteen pages, so I'm gonna read that of this book right now. 
and I'll get back to you guys on what I think. Okay, so I just read the first two chapters of this and I'm a little confused. I'm intrigued but confused because the world seems really interesting. It's like aliens have taken over Earth and like everyone has a parasite in their stomachs and like all of the adults have been turned into kind of like mindless zombies while kids are like immune to it. But that's where I get confused because like the main female character in chapter one is like in a drugstore and she's like gang stuff and she like gets birth control and everything. But then like a couple pages later she's like, oh yeah, everyone over the age of 16 is like a mindless zombie. So I'm like, are you 15 and getting birth control and having sex? Because I'm not about minors having sex. So, um... I'm very interested in it, but that, that had me a little worried, so we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I might look up some reviews to see what that's about. Um, next up, ugh, I think I'm going to try this one next. Um, let's see how long the chapter is here. First chapter is like nine pages, so we're going to try this one out. Okay, so I read the first chapter of this, and I actually really like this so far. It gave me very Percy Jackson feels, which I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it's about, like, demigods and people with powers and, like, monsters and stuff like that. So I really liked this. I also did just do a quick good read search of this, and, uh... I don't know if it's a spoiler, but I'm glad I looked it up because the main girl was getting birth controls because she's a transgender woman and that's her um, way she's getting her hormone treatment when, you know, the world is ending. So that makes so much more sense. So I will keep this one on the list and I really like this one too. So, so far I definitely want to read both of them, but I have one more book to try out, but I just saw my parents pull in the driveway. So let's see if I can do this quick. I also got The Bear and the Nightingale, so I'm going to try the first chapter of this one, and I'll get back to you guys on which one I decide to read. Okay, so I finished the first chapter of The Bear and the Nightingale, and it's a little bit slower paced right now for me. It's like, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is an adult novel. I got it in an adult section, so um, I don't know if I'm really in the mood for this right now. I'm really in the mood for something just really quick, so I think I'm actually gonna go with this one. Um, it's the longer of the three, but it's still like 315 pages, and I just felt like it was really quick and fast-paced and everything, so I think this is the one I'm going to read. So, let's try it out. <laughs> y'all so it's been like um a hot sex since the last time i vlogged for this vlog um this vlog turned into a mess because uh i was gonna be staying at home for the full weekend but then i ended up coming home sunday so now it's monday at like 2 30 in the afternoon i just did so many freaking errands like so many errands um so yeah this is a weird vlog i'm sorry the shadows are weird right now but I got a bookshelf, I got another bookshelf because I needed a, another like end table, side table for my living room and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy a bookshelf to do that because I am almost completely out of room on my bookshelf. So uh, for the rest of this vlog, I'm gonna build a bookshelf and reorganize my books. So everyone likes those kind of videos, right? I hope, yeah, so there you go. I am done for now so let me just show you guys what I did so up here are books for this semester's classes obviously I haven't gotten all of them 
I only have a couple, so here's the space for the others. My Shakespeare collection, and then these are like modern classics slash books I've had to read in the past for school. Here are like classic classics kind of thing. Yeah, classic classics, and then Lord of the Rings sci-fi classics and then yeah and then some big ones that don't fit other places i also do realize that i fucked up the bottom and i tried to fix it and it literally wouldn't come undone so whatever but yeah so that is my new bookshelf it's a it's 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 supposed to be a stand for that lamp because it's been on the ground since i got here um over six months ago so finally have a place for that lamp <laughs> okay yeah that was that was tough. So now I have to redo my other shelf. Crap. Do you guys want to see that too? I'll show you guys that too. Okay. This is going to be it for now. I probably will change it eventually, but... Woo! So much space. The difference between just adding one shelf. Like, that's insane. So... That's all finished. Um, I feel like I've never shown you guys this, but for my 21st birthday, my best friend in the whole wide world, Erin, got me the coolest gift ever. You guys are very crooked. Uh, she got me this commissioned art piece of Haruki Murakami. I think it is gorgeous, so I'm gonna finally hang it up. Hopefully. I'm gonna try to hang it up. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll show you guys if I hang it up. Okay, I hung it up. Right here! Oh, I love it! It's kind of small <laughs> for like the entire wall, but we got the bookshelf, TV, and then that painting. Now we got one, and now two. Oh, this looks great. I think this is great. This was a great investment, a great improvement. And it even kind of matches my table. I didn't even think of that. Good job, Kate! Anyways, I guess that's going to be the end of this weird little vlog. <laughs> I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I love y'all, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!